A Deer Park family says their neighbor is a hero after fighting off a pack of dogs. The dogs were attacking another dog, nearly killing it. KXLY4's Korea Shagrin introduces you to Winnie, the dog who now has a res two rescue tales to tell. This is Winnie. Winnie is just a sweet dog, but her tiny little body, you can see, is just covered in bite marks. The veterinarian that treated Winnie says this dog suffered the worst dog attack he has ever seen. She was ripped to shreds. I mean, they flayed skin open and got some muscle. There are just a few small patches of Winnie's body left untouched. Her fur nearly gone, replaced by bandages and dozens of stitches. I'm shocked that she's still alive. When you have 20 to 50 dogs barking, you can't ignore it. Betty Bransford Filer has to use a cane to get around. She's not exactly the strongest person to take on a pack of dogs. But when she heard the barking, she knew the dogs had to be attacking something. I was afraid it was going to be a child. She quickly hopped in her car to see what was going on. When I got down there, I, I jumped out and I, I looked around and uh, I jumped back in <laughs> because I was scared. <laughs> Betty says 20 aggressive dogs were chewing into Winnie. She says when she drove up, most of the dogs finally ran away, leaving a bleeding Winnie in the middle of a nearby field. She was covered in blood, and especially on the hindquarters. Jessica Tennant is convinced had Betty not stepped in, her dog would have died. This 10-year-old dog now has two heroes. Jessica saved the dog two years ago. She had been at the Humane Society for over a year when we rescued her. And Betty will be forever thanked for saving her again. We can definitely consider her a hero. I mean, that act of bravery and doing that is so much more than most people would ever do. And with the pack of dogs living really just down the street, many in this area say they feel hostage. They can't even go outdoors because they're in fear. The prosecutor's office and the sheriff's office have both been contacted. Neighbors, of course, are hoping for some sort of resolution. In Deer Park, Karina Shagrin, KXLY4.